Hey everybody, it's Mike from Stonewall Woodcraft. I thought I'd pop in and just tell you guys what I've been up to behind the scenes and between projects over the last few weeks. The main thing, and I'm very proud of it, is my new hand tool wall. When planning this hand tool wall, I had three main goals. One, make sure I only use materials that I have here in the shop because I don't want to spend money on this project. Two, make sure it incorporates all the tools that I use most frequently on this bench here in front of me. And three, make sure it includes my logo. Goal number one was pretty easy because when I started my business, I acquired some tools from a cabinet maker who also threw in some materials, including a lot of sheet goods, which I'm not really using in my type of building, and a whole bunch of red oak, which also isn't my favorite to use. Goal number two, I achieved by just laying out all the hand tools that I use regularly on my workbench and kind of adding and removing pieces until I figured out what was most important to be there and how I wanted to lay it out. And goal number three, there's no way without a lot of effort and mistakes and time and damaged materials and swearing and that I would have been able to make this logo on my own. So I reached out to my friend Jenna from the North Cut and she was able to provide me with this awesome two foot by two foot roughly logo for the center of my tool wall. Now I didn't really record all of the details of each piece being made for this wall because I thought it would be a bit redundant. So I just put together a montage of some of the steps because let's be honest, you're here for the woodworking, not for me talking. Check it out. Now one thing I did record was the making of the card scraper holder here in the middle of the wall. If you want to see how I did that, check out the reel I posted over on Instagram. I kind of like to use my Instagram as a companion to my YouTube channel. So if you like the things I'm doing here, maybe give me a follow over there so you can see some of the behind the scenes stuff and me talking to the camera on random days to show you what I'm doing in the shop. Not unlike now, I guess. Anyway, I still have some to do here. I'm going to put a bank of cabinets down across the bottom with a small tool holding work counter back there. And of course I'm gonna trim out the whole thing in black so it kind of matches the, the logo. Uh, but that's gonna come when I have a break between projects again. So again, you can see that stuff over on Instagram. Thanks for checking it out guys.